So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I want to showcase you guys a weapon a lot of people are sleeping on, a weapon a lot of people have forgotten about, a weapon I believe deserves a second chance, a weapon which is super unique and actually hits like a truck. Today guys we check out the Rosas' axe, while he offers the benefits to it and why I believe it's a great great weapon and should definitely check it out how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe so the weapon absolutely amazing weapon skill spawning in three skeletons with that curve sword that come and obliterate the enemy you're targeting now what i will say is even if you get hit out of the animation guys these skeletons still spawn in they still target that enemy which is one benefit to the many that this thing offers. Now, it isn't the hardest hitting in regards to what else is on offer in this game, but it still hits pretty hard, guys. And because, as you can see, it attributes uh, it scales with strength, dexterity, and intellect. Intellect being the obviously the Rosas summons the weapon skill on it. It requires 18 in strength, 10 dexterity, and 18 in that intellect. But guys magic any buffs to magic i mean i've quickly thrown this together nothing special you guys can do way better you can make this even more powerful than i've done but hey i mean the weapon is absolutely amazing like i said i do believe people are sleeping on it now i've gone back through my channel and i've never covered this that's why i'm doing this video uh, i've looked on youtube there's only a few guides of where this could be obtained from and some of them are literally months old I had to look on Wikipedia sorry, to see where this was gotten from because my hard drive corrupted about a month, well about three weeks ago. I lost everything I'd ever recorded. I probably did record me picking this thing up, but like I said, I'd never covered it on my channel. So yeah, so where do you get this thing for stars? Well, it comes from a cave, the Black Knife Catacombs. Now this is basically early on, before you even actually get up to the Grand Lift Detector. So you can get this basically almost near the start of the game nothing stopping you the only thing that stops you guys is you need a stone soul key so come up here if you haven't got this already the black knife catacombs like i said easy to get up to easy to get up to there will be a guard standing outside of the door but hey you can take him out or just run straight past him it's completely up to you grace is there activate the grace if you haven't already as you do so from the grace guys come down these steps now you can't ignore all the enemies, you don't even have to bother with them. Run past the bathroom on your left hand side, we want to go down there. Like I said, all you need is a stone sword key. So come in here, use your stone sword key there. Run into this room and grab that loot. Then you can either go back through or continue through the catacombs. If you ain't been here already. Or just run straight back out, it really is as simple as that. And the only thing I have noticed with this weapon is its hitbox. Its hitbox is a little bit bust. Now you'll see here, I'll try and get hit out of the animation. You can see I got hit out of the animation there. You can see it still spawns in the, uh, add the skeletons. That's pretty cool. And I do have like a, not a massive air of effect on them, but it's uh, it's decent enough. It's decent enough, but yeah, either way. I'm just go up to this grace and reset before they chase me out of here and kick my ass. But yeah, the hitbox on it, I mean it's a little broke sometimes it just it's perfect and other times it seems to just miss enemies right in front of you hopefully it's something they look into i'll probably try and get it on this guy here you'll see okay so it kind of hit him there but obviously he was guarding then come on come at me come at me come at me. okay so they completely missed him then and that's the only thing about it once you target so let's say if i target him and he moves and just try and do it so like this if he moves they completely miss they go to where um i've actually initially just landed in where where i've called it in basically where i've summoned them in and that's it but if you don't move he will get absolutely ridiculous see for some reason now it's doing less damage like they ain't hitting fully which is bizarre i'm not seeing that like that absolutely smash them now. that's what i'm saying the, the hitbox on it does seem a little bit broke. I demonstrated it uh, elsewhere as well. I was trying it out here earlier, and there's like a giant here. I, I go to certain spots on the map and test weapons out. Um, and sometimes, guys, it's like the biggest giant in the world. 
it missed him when it's literally directly in front of him. So like I said, I'm hoping it's something they look into. I really do. Now, a basic setup with this, like I said, it scales with intellect. So the map, the, the Rosas is summoned, scales with that like, intellect. So any buffs to um, intellect, intelligence, guys, will work wonders. I mean, you guys can make this way more powerful with other buffs, other incantations, whatever. Uh, but I'll just, just a quick demonstration of the weapon in, in, in action. Ain't my kind of thing, if I, I ain't gonna lie to you, it's not my kind of thing, but hey, maybe for somebody out there. So you'll see, let's see if it, probably, it's gonna prove me wrong now, it's gonna work. Okay, so it worked then, that's just a, that's just annoying, but hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, it sometimes just doesn't work properly. It just doesn't work properly. Sit down, bitches! What are you doing? What are you going to do about it? Huh? What? Jesus, I just got stomped on. <laughs> yeah, that giant's killing his own dude, look. <laughs> I love that about, I absolutely love that about this game. See that there then? It's like two of them just went straight through him. Let's see if that happens again. Okay, so it killed him that time. It's weird. It's weird. It's definitely a can't, I don't know if it's bugged. I don't know if it's just me. But either way, guys, either way, it's still a weapon I feel will have some major benefits to it. And I'm hoping someone who watches the video enjoys this weapon as much as I think it could be enjoyed. I do feel it's a weapon many people have slept on and not given a second chance. But either way, guys, either way. There we have it, guys. And that is how you get the Rosas' Axe, a proper unique weapon. Like I said, one I don't see many people talking about. Could be for good reason, who knows. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more out of ring, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully my bad you, Tiffo people. I will see you on that next one.